beauties and welcome back to i am beautiful hustle tv today we are back with a new video and today's video is featuring hermosa hair they sent me over this 26 inch body weight wig and this packaging did come with a stocking cap and a pair of free lashes and as i mentioned it is a body weight wig the lace is giving like light brown lace but it still got melted to the t as you can see from the thumbnail here um but however this is light brown lace it also has um some about five combs on the inside to secure your wig and also it is like a regular lace frontal a lace front parting space um as far as the construction now before i actually installed this wig i did go ahead and dye this wig jet black i did the water dye method which i've showed you guys plenty of times on my channel and the colors that i used was royal navy and jet black i just mixed all that together in my sink with some hot water and i went ahead and dipped the wig as you can see the lace did not turn black whatsoever and i actually let that wig sit in there for about 30 minutes just do not submerge your lace under water you know what i'm saying you could dip it in and out but do not just like let the lace sit completely under water i placed the wig inside the sink so that um the lace is still you know like sticking out of the water but however um once i went ahead and dyed that as you can see the wig is still wet so i'm jumping straight into the install and i will blow dry the hair as i go now i actually had to rush and do this install and it took me about 45 minutes because i had to head to the airport to get to atlanta so that's why the style is simple and straight to the point okay so for starters i went ahead and tried that wig on and the first thing i did was cut the extra lace from around the ears that way when i went ahead and applied my layers of glue and i tacked the wig down it would just lay flat and perfectly onto my hairline i did do a little bit plucking in this wig but not too too much um it just you know i just pretty kept it i kept it pretty basic you know so um the hairline did come like slightly pre-plucked but of course you know you want to go in some more and do your own plucking you know customize it to how you like it and you know that way it'll be ready for you to install and it's the glue that i'm using of course is the lace made adhesive from my brand and i am using the small little tube glue um, I love the travel size glue. I was one, it's able to go with you wherever you go. So I did take this to Atlanta with me and it just looks like a tiny little lip gloss and you just slide, you know, you place that glue right onto that hairline and you could actually use the flat part of the glue to just really spread the glue out. But sometimes I do it with the comb and then sometimes I just spread it out with the um, actual tube itself. But either way it goes, when you spread that glue out, you wanna make sure it's nice, smooth and flat. That way the glue can dry uh, clear quickly and then you can go ahead and place down your lace. So after applying my two layers, I am gonna go ahead and let this dry and then begin to tack down the wig. So now that the glue is clear, I'm going to go ahead and begin to tack down my wig. And I always like to start from the center first and then work my way down to the sides. Now, when you uh, place your wig down, you do want to um, use your fingertips or your comb and make sure you apply pressure and you're actually pushing that lace down into the glue. And once you have one side secured, you can go ahead and focus on your other side. And make sure you be very, very careful on where you're placing it. Like, as you see, I lift this thing up about three times to make sure I placed it directly where it needs to be. And honestly, guys, make sure you are placing the lace to go just a few millimeters past where you apply the glue. That way, you do not have glue behind like your hairline is not behind the glue if that makes sense you don't want to glue down the lace you want to actually glue down the hairline part of the wig and once you have that secure you can go ahead and tie the lace down with your melt band and i did let my melt band sit for about like two to five minutes i didn't do like the full 10 minutes that i normally do because as i mentioned you guys i was on a press for time i had to make it to the airport so i let that sit for like two to five minutes and in the meantime what i did do was start to kind of like blow dry the wig out so it don't look as wet as it was before and right after removing that melt belt i am going to go ahead and begin to cut off that extra lace and as you guys know, sometimes, depending on what kind of lace it is, um, once you cut that lace, your 
um, hairline could look too light. But if you ever have that issue, you can always go back in with Dr. Foundation and tap it across your hairline, which I will show you that um, just in a few minutes um, after this section of the video. But for right now, I'm just taking that Glam Wax Stick and I applied it on the top of my wig so I can kind of pre-prep it to lay it down flat. So right now, I just took some scissors and slit um, that lace and now I'm gonna go ahead and raise it off the extra lace. Now, usually when I do this step, I get all the way to what's glued and I just cut off everything else that's not already tacked down. But sometimes um, I feel like everything I plucked gets cut off. So this time I didn't go all the way to what was glued. I kind of left some of the unglued part um, on st like still on the wig. That way I can just go in and slide some glue under those little cracks because I really wanted my hairline to look natural and I don't want to cut off everything that I plucked. So I did leave some of that extra lace on there, but just be mindful not to leave too, too, too much because you don't want your wig to look too far down. So now that I have that off, I'm just going to go ahead and begin to slide the glue under those cracks so I can get everything tacked down. And I'm just sliding about um, like two to three little like layers under those little cracks right there because you guys know I only use two layers in total for this install. But sometimes the little cracks like that be real stubborn so you can add, you know, an extra layer if you need to. It's just something about the edges that's all, just always want to give you a hard time. But um, once you get it tacked down, you just want to repeat the same steps to the other side. So now that I have that tacked down, I'm just going in with the blow dry really quick, uh, really quickly on the heat setting and just blow drying all of that lace. And as I mentioned before, I felt like my hairline was giving me that halo look. It was too light. So I'm just taking my concealer packet and I'm going in with that darkest shade and I'm tapping that um, concealer color 
all across my hairline. I usually just use my darker um, Ruby Kisses level 16 palette, but at this moment I don't have any left. So I had to go with the next best, uh, the next best thing with that darker shade. So now that I have that color tapped on there, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of straighten up my middle part to perfection because I am going to spray my hairline down um, once again. And well, I didn't even do it yet, but I'm gonna spray my hairline down and uh, with that Tresemme holding spray. And then of course, I'm going to tie my lace down one more time. And that's just to give it that extra security and just make sure the lace is melted. To And guys, you also want to make sure that you are hot combing um, your wig down nice and flat because you want your wig to lay as flat as possible. You don't want it to look all humped up and puffy at the top. So make sure you, um, one, do you a nice small little braid down and also that you're um, laying your wig completely down where it has like no rolls and no folds in the lace. You want to stretch that wig completely out. That way when you go to hot combing it and everything like that, it just lays down super flat. But um, now that I have that hot combs and I actually hot comb my hairline backwards to make sure it's clean and neat, I'm going to take my Tresemme holding spray and instead of just spraying it directly all over my head, I mean I am wearing makeup. So I decided to just um, put the holding spray on my fingertips and just um, tap that um, holding spray across that lace and then go in with that melt belt and tie it down once again. But I did let this one sit for about five minutes and I went in and blow dried the hair some more because I still felt like it was a little wet in between pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hot comb my roots and also uh, blow dry that some more. the melt belt is off and this is what it's looking like and clearly i see i got this little stubborn ass piece over here in the corner so i'm just gonna go ahead and clip that thing on off and then push that lace in and this is what the hairline is looking like it's very nice natural and clean and that's why it's very important that you comb everything back and that you also um be very neat as far as hot combing and using um, the holding spray, you know, combing it back and smoothing it out before you tie that melt belt. That way when you remove it, it's nice, clean, and in place. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is continue to hot comb the top, of course, because I want to get it super flat. I want to get out all those, you know, little lumps and uh, kinks out. And then I'm also going to, um, what I was going to say, <laughs> I'm also going to go in and flat iron the hair as well because, yeah, um... This is body wave, but you know, when you wash body wave, the wave kind of goes, honestly. And like I mentioned, I was on a press for time. So going ahead and doing a curl, a whole curl look was not gonna work out in my favor. I was gonna end up missing my flight. So I'm just going in with this flat iron that I got down here from the stylist of Miami. And it is super, super, super hot and it gets the hair nice and straight. I love it. It goes to 480 degrees. Her name is actually The Enhancer. So if you want to purchase one of these um, hot flat irons, and it is the thick one. Y'all know I like the big plated one. Um, make sure you guys check her out. I will actually drop her Instagram down in the description box as well so you can purchase this um, um, flat iron. But... As y'all can see in the back, I missed a little piece and my mama was sitting right on the couch and she wasn't even going to say nothing to me, y'all. Just, ugh. <laughs> so, I didn't get to get that little piece in the back, but don't judge me, y'all. But, however, this is the finished look here. Um, like I said, this is body wave hair, but I just kept it straight and jet black and cute. Threw on my little airport outfit and I was headed on my way to Atlanta. This video was very simple, but I hope you guys enjoyed it overall. Thank you guys for watching. And if you are new, don't forget to click uh, don't forget to subscribe.